The human headline is at it again with Darren Hinch becoming the latest politician to be caught up in the citizenship crisis. The crossbench senator fears his time working in America, in America could bring him undone. Jonathan Lee reports. He's known as the human headline, a provocateur, but it's not his twin stints in jail that have the former Kiwi worrying he's ineligible for parliament. Rather, a US social security card number dating back to his time living in New York as a foreign correspondent during the 60s and 70s. The thing is that I think I'll have to refer this to the High Court because uh, if I'm... If I'm clear and I don't, I'll say, oh, everybody else did, so what do you got to hide? Hinch's hunch is he's OK, claiming he renounced his American superannuation when he entered Parliament. But under the Constitution, anyone entitled to the rights or privileges of a subject or a citizen of a foreign power is ineligible for office. I'm not a citizen. I can't vote there. I can't work there. But uh, I think in the end it'll have to uh, go to the High Court and I'll become uh, person number eight. First, he has to write to the Attorney General who will seek advice and make a decision on whether a referral is necessary. Darren apparently wants to be number eight, but yes. I think the court's got plenty on the docket. It follows the latest claims that Labor MP Katie Gallagher could be an hereditary citizen of Ecuador. To clean up the mess, crossbenchers, including Darren Hinch, want a comprehensive audit of all the members of Parliament, but that would require the support of the major parties. We've got Labor and Liberal, the Coles and Woolies of politics, who are refusing. I think we should await the High Court's deliberations. All as a constitutional expert yesterday declared. It wouldn't surprise me if there are 20 or more people who might come to light by virtue of this. Making it a crisis at least on par with but this. Nothing will save the Governor-General. Jonathan Lee, 10 Eyewitness News.